So I've been working on an investigation that was published on the Post Millennial. Uh, the headline is Host at Leftist Portland Radio Station Arrested for Trafficking and Rape of Canadian Child. Um, this is the suspect here, Noah Madrano on the left. This was a um, from his arraignment. Um, for more than a decade, he was a host at KBOO, KBOO FM in Portland, which is a community radio station that is very radical left. Um, it has talk radio, it has music, the political programming. Um, I mean, according to KBOO, they identify as uh, an Antifa station. So what happened is that on the 24th of June, a father in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, um, put out a Facebook post and alerted authorities that his young child, a, a 13 year old girl uh, had gone missing. Um, she didn't show up to school that day. And eight days later, she was found at a property in Oregon City, Oregon, with allegedly the suspect um, you see in this photograph on the left. So according to um, investigators or prosecutors, I should say, he had allegedly groomed the girl since she was 12 years old for a year before kidnapping her. This was a key part of my reporting. So KBOO released a statement saying that they had no knowledge of um, his misconduct. That was the word they used, misconduct. And um, that they have suspended him from his role and they're going to assist investigators. Um, but on this alternate account that he had, he, there were only three followers and one of them was KBU. And the last tweet from him was that sexually graphic one that's um, in the, uh, that you saw above. And also um, the, the Twitter banner um, appears to show an image of a new child. I've censored it here in the report. I was able to obtain the last um, episode that aired in June of uh, his radio program. And uh, it had been deleted from the podcast servers, but I was able to obtain it. And what's really disturbing is there's a segment where there's a purported skit of a phone sex scene with a minor. And in it, uh, Madrano is trying to mock um, Florida Congressman Matt Gates and Republicans at large. Um, there's a female voice that sounds like a child. Uh, we don't know who that voice is. Um, I contacted um, the Oregon, um, the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office, as well as the um, KB radio to ask if the voice of the female in that, in the sex kit is of the girl that he allegedly laid her soon after kidnapped and raped. And I didn't get a response from KBU. Uh, Clackamas County let me know that uh, it's, it's not part of their investigation that I have to contact another agency. KBOO has been extremely reluctant to be transparent about uh, this person who's with him for 10 years. Um, they never have even named him. They quietly have scrubbed his, they've tried their best to scrub his name from the website and everything, but I have archives in my report.